Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. I almost went lightheaded there. I don't know why. What happened? I literally felt lightheaded. Anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and close up the garage. It's kind of cold. We'll go jump right into the video. Yeah, I can never ever find the right words. And there's no way this is real life. There's no telling you. So before we start today's video, I just like to say today's video is sponsored by Carly. If you guys don't know what Carly is, Carly is probably the best BMW scan tool that you guys can take on the go. So you guys know that pretty much all my other BMWs, I have this little Carly adapter. I've had the original one, I was an OG. I think I've had a Carly adapter for at least three years now. They updated their look to this one, which is actually a universal adapter. So these guys now work with pretty much any BMW and a lot of other cars, which is super nice. And they have a free app that connects to this, so you can do diagnostics for free. But the reason why Carly Carly is super special and the reason why I love Carly is because you can code your car, you can check diagnostics, you can clear codes, you can reset batteries, you can code in your batteries and it even just tells you the health of a BMW when you come to buy one. So right now with my car and I've been getting this stupid code, this is the emergency cost system. I don't know what it is, malfunction, whatever it is. If I go over here, it just tells you basically there's a malfunction, uh, consult a service center. And you guys know that every time you get on the service center, they charge you like 130 to even $200 for a stupid diagnostic. This adapter is 80 bucks and the diagnostic app is free. And also guys, what I really like about the app, it actually tells you if the issue is serious or it's not serious. Or you know, it's like, it's whatever. So um, obviously I have two major ones. This is from the last time I ran the codes. I'm gonna go ahead and check my recent codes and see if this will come up. I have the emergency call malfunction. So let's see if I get any codes for that. It's this car being checked right now. All right guys, so these are the codes that I'm getting. I'm pretty sure it's this one right here. So it says, uh, yeah, the emergency is missing receiver. So I got the code. This is the full description of it right here. So I'm gonna go ahead, look up that code and see what it is exactly. So instead of the BMW logo, I just coded in the M performance. So check that out, guys. Um, loading. Oh, damn, what is this? Oh, <laughs> that is so sick. So you guys saw this saying the com box is an error to it. So I'm gonna check the wiring. I think that John, when he actually did some of the wiring for the air, suspension you may have accidentally forgot to plug in something so that's no big deal we'll go ahead and plug that back in but we did code a few things you guys saw the navigation our loads up on m performance i also took off the disclaimer so it doesn't tell me every time i start on the car there's a disclaimer another thing i did is when i whenever i lock the doors my mirrors fold in so from a distance if i can't tell if i lock the doors i can just look at my mirrors i'm like yo my mirrors are folded it's uh, it's locked unlock it unfolds, so that's super cool. So normal BMWs also have it so when you roll down your windows, this is pretty like ordinary, every BMW can do this, whether it's coded or not, but not every single BMW can roll up its window when it's locked. See, so it rolls up the window, folds that, put down the sunroof. So it closes everything when you just hold down the lock button. This is also coded by Carly. When you guys buy the full version of Carly, you guys get all these features and unlocks and all this stuff, maintenance things. So I personally think Carly is worth every single penny. But anyways, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So today we got a lot of carbon goodies. So you guys see the rear end is kind of like, it's a little naked, it's a little naked. You guys saw in the last video, we put this beautiful carbon fiber lip. Check that out guys, it looks so good. Especially when it's aired out, it looks amazing. But since the front lip and the front end looks really good, carbon grills, carbon front lip. We do need some carbon in the rear. So we just have that little carbon shark fin, but we also want a carbon spoiler, carbon diffuser. It might do a little bit of carbon to the interior to add on to the rest of the carbon because I think carbon looks pretty dope. You can't ever have too much carbon. So we got a few carbon goodies right here. Let me go ahead and unbox it for you guys and uh, show you guys what it is. Imagine guys, a diffuser carbon with an extended diffuser. That might be insane. I'm trying to make this car absolutely insane. But anyways, let's go ahead and figure out uh, how this carbon stuff looks. So if you guys are wondering where I got any of these carbon stuff, make sure you check out the link down below. Oh my God, guys, what is life? Guys, this is so sick. So we got the carbon spoiler from Keys Motorsports. We got the carbon diffuser. And we also have the jet tag from Keys Motorsports. First person that DMs me on Instagram about the Keys Motorsports jet tag, we'll be getting it out. I'm gonna be sending it out to one of you guys. Free of charge, just the first person that DMs you. So make sure to check out my Instagram and DM me right now. Check out that jet tag. Guys, let me know if I should make my own jet tags. I think they're kind of insane, but uh, meantime, shout out to Keys. No way, guys, this carbon looks so good hold up hold up this looks too good right now guys check out the carbon oh my god it's so aggressive super good looking and check out this diffuser the angles are insane oh my god 
So this diffuser actually reminds me of the one that I currently have on right now, but this one's not carbon, but it's pretty much the exact same diffuser. Unfortunately, I just came back, I just came from school, and uh, yes, you see, I, I'm not really in clothes to be working on cars, so if you guys see me being a little bit picky on where I put my booty, it's mainly because I don't wanna, I don't wanna get my, my, my nice clothes dirty. Anywho, let's jack up the car, remove the old diffuser, and in with the new diffuser. All right guys, so this is the car aired out, new diffuser, so this is carbon from Keys. I think it looks super good. The fitment actually was really nice. It was pretty easy to put on. All the screws lined up, so that was nice. And then the carbon fiber spoiler. I went with the aggressive style, so this looks really good. Fitment was easy, and that's it. I mean, that's all I wrote to it. I mean, you guys saw the front, oh dear heavens. <laughs> you guys saw the front lip. Now, oh my God, yeah, the rear end is insane. Oh my lord. Anywho, I'm gonna take it out, show you guys a few pictures, and then you take a few pictures, take it outside, show it to you guys. Probably do some shots in the morning as well. I'll show you guys all that stuff hopefully tomorrow. It is kind of getting late. I gotta go back to school and pick up my brother, but check out the front too. That looks crazy. Anywho, um, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. But what do you think, Austin? I love it. it looks looks good, right? Insane, yeah. <laughs> what do you think? It looks amazing. So we're gonna have to do the front splitter. We need to. We have to. It, it's done. It, it needs enough. chat. Oh, we're gonna have to do chat uh, tonight. Too. It has to happen at this point. Austin, Austin is paying. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Austin. I appreciate you. You know. <laughs> but anyways, guys, um, we still have the carbon fiber side skirt extensions. We'll do that as well. But I'll catch you guys tomorrow um, for the rest of the carbon. So three, two, one. See y'all tomorrow. All right, guys. This is the next day, and I want to do one little quick mod. So I didn't, I wasn't, I didn't have a chance basically to add a little bit more carbon fiber to the interior. You guys know that I have this whole dash in carbon. I have also the door handles in carbon. This center trim, which is beautiful. Um, that's just a subtle, low key, you know, thingy. Um, and then more carbon fiber, which is really nice. I also want to add some more carbon fiber to the steering wheel eventually. Maybe even get a carbon fiber wheel, which would be really nice. Um, so I'm getting actually, I'm working on getting a wheel right now. It's been in the making for a couple months. So I'm getting a custom wheel. It's going to look pretty beautiful. Um, but meantime, I got one little piece of carbon that's going to sit right here that I think is going to look really good. So setting you guys up right here, I'm just going to quickly wipe this out with my hand. I'm not even going to like, you know, put too much effort into this because it has a lot of 3M and I think it'll stay no matter what. Um, you guys will learn from my mistake if I didn't do this right. So this is the carbon that I got from eBay. I think this thing was like 12 bucks. This is really cheap. And it goes right here. So, yeah, let's just try and see how it looks. All right, guys, so here's this little carbon upgrade. Um, you can definitely tell the difference between real carbon and definitely fake carbon. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, this looks pretty good. It's nothing crazy. Actually, the fitment is, is really crazy. Like, it's actually crazy considering uh, the price. Um, so yeah, it looks really nice. It fit everywhere, like, perfectly. Um, and yeah, it's just a quick little simple mod. But yeah, guys, this is the next day. Unfortunately, I was not able to get any shots. The car is actually sitting in front of me right now, but I actually did some mods to it the day after. So I don't really want to show you guys. I want to keep it a surprise. The car is sitting, she's sitting right there, and it's looking so beautiful with all the carbon all the way around. So I don't want to, I don't want to spoil it. I want to wait for the next video, and I'll spoil the whole thing to you guys. It looks insane. This looks like a dream car right now, and I'm just so blessed and so thankful. And what's crazy to think is that pretty much I got this car, and everything I've done to it so far is under $20,000, which is insane because you can't even pick up a normal 435 for about $20,000, uh, like, you know, with like 100,000 miles. Like, typically, the ones are around 90,000 miles, about 22,000. This one, since I picked up with 145 or 143,000 miles, I got it for 12 out the door. So, even with the bags and all these external mods and all that stuff, I'm still under 20, which is insane. It feels so good. And at the same time, we pretty much done all the maintenance for the most part. Anyways, guys, if you guys are excited to see the next video, make sure to smash the like button. If you guys haven't entered the M3 giveaway, make sure to subscribe to 
to my channel check out my brother's channel down below subscribe to his channel then once you've done both of those comment on that video right there that's how i'm gonna be selecting the winner we've already surpassed the goal of 2500 subscribers on my brother's channel but that doesn't mean we can't modify the e36 f3 even more so i can give it away to some to one of you guys and you guys have a good foundation i basically want to get this thing track ready so whoever the new owner is you can play around with it, enjoy, you can drive it back to your place, it's an automatic, and then I recommend swapping it out with the manual, because that M3 with the manual, like what else, that's perfect. Anyways guys, I love y'all so much, remember to stay humble, see you guys in the next one, peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse, man it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth.